I am optimistic in the future of journalism, period. Maybe that reflects my personality. I'm an optimistic person. But I, I, I think we're in a difficult time economically for journalism in the United States as we try to figure out how do we build a business model to support journalism after the, the business model of print advertising has, has virtually collapsed. Uh, we've lost more than 60% of the advertising revenue in just seven years. So we're in a difficult time, but I'm very optimistic. I work with a lot of really brilliant, amazing young journalists who I think are going to figure out how this works and who are committed to it. I go to a lot of colleges like the University of Kentucky and I'm just amazed at the optimism of the students who are coming in and the, the, the intelligence of them. I think they're going to figure things out. Um, I have a similar optimism uh, for journalism in Russia. Uh, you know, I, I, I grew up in the 1960s. My father was in the United States Air Force during the Cuban Missile Crisis. And, and, you know, we were doing drills where we were going to hide under our desks. We were afraid of nuclear war. And, um, you know, our, our nations worked through that conflict without nuclear war. And, and your nation uh, uh, moved beyond the Soviet uh, government to, to more freedom. And I think you're going to continue moving to more freedom and more independent press. Um, I think people people want to be free and people want to be free to express and I think governments that interfere with that freedom uh, they're going to win sometimes on the short run but I think in the long term freedom wins. I'm optimistic about the future of journalism in both countries but for different reasons. Um, in, in America there is clearly a need for the watchdog role of journalists and any marketing uh, strategist is going to tell you if you have a need then you develop a, a product or service to fulfill it and so that's becoming more and more um, necessary because I really feel like there is this breakdown in America on ethics and uh, trust and uh, whether it be political figures or cheating scandals in schools that so so that the need for journalists to provide the check and balance the reality is uh, there and, uh, and and then the entrepreneurial spirit to figure out how to make uh, money based on it so I, I'm optimistic about America in that way I'm optimistic about Russia because the barriers for citizens to get out truth are, are, are disappearing more and more with the internet. I, I mean, I can't imagine uh, the leadership of Russia deciding one day just to shut down Facebook. Now in China, that's a decision, you know, that you're yeah, just not going to have Facebook. I, th I think there honestly would be a revolt in Russia, if, if that would be another Bolshevik revolution of, of uh, it would be the Facebook revolution I just feel in the people for a government to shut down a source like that to get the truth out to people so I do I do think that Resh is dealing with entirely different uh, challenges and extremely serious challenges it's at a historic moment in this crackdown and what happens next uh, I'll be watching I think the world is watching but for the people to be able to break through and get the truth I have great confidence in the Russian people to do that